Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to my channel. So, a lot of people were wanting me to review a car in English. So today I have the 2022 Acura TLX, the biggest sedan that they sell until now. So let's start the full in-depth review. So first, let's start with the front of the car. The car is width is 72.2 inches. We'll show you the car's key. So this is the key for the TLX. You have the Acura and key one and key two. And at the back, you have engine start, you have lock, unlock, and your trunk opening. And you can turn on the car with the key. So you have to press it twice until that beep, and then you have to hold this button. There, the car has been started. So let's show you the lights first. So this car has full LED lights because it's obviously the top of the line. So here we are inside. So now I'm going to turn on the light. So this is the daytime running lights. This is the headlight. This is the fog on with the hazards. So this is the high beam, high beam off, high beam, high beam off. So if I come outside now. So if you guys come a little closer, the headlight design is very incredible design from them. You have these four projectors set up right here. This is your daytime running lights. This is the hazards. And because it's in America, you have this uh, side reflector. Then, if we come here, if we see the front bumper design, you have this very nice little vent here that is open. So air goes in and gets out of the wheel. It has four sensors at the front and LED fog lamps down here. And there is a Type S variant that I told you a little while ago. So there's going to be a picture up there. So the Type S is a sport model. So the front bumper is changed on that. This is the grill with your new Acura logo, your front camera because it has the surround view camera option. This is your front number plate slot. These vents are open for cooling the engine to the radiators. This is it for the front. You have a lot of chrome details because this is the luxury variant. And then if you want the sport variant, everything's blacked out at the front. In the hood, you can see aggressive lines that are here and at the center. These are for the car's design. So it looks more elegant and more nicely designed element. So let's start showing you the car's engine. So now let's show you the engine. So for that, I have to open the hood from the driver's side. There is a button here and there. So this car has a two liter VTEC turbocharged engine that is a four cylinder. So if you get the Type S, that gets a three liter uh, turbocharged V6. But the normal one comes with a two liter VTEC turbocharged engine. So this is the four cylinder engine right here. You have your engine oil port distribution right here and then you have your dipstick right here. So if you guys don't know VTEC, uh, Honda calls their turbocharged VTEC engine. This has different suspension from the Type S and a different engine, but it has that same speed, 10 speed automatic transmission. Egar, the car is producing 272 horsepower and 250 Newton meters of torque from this engine. It's very good and it's powering a lot from this engine because uh, the world record of the two liter engine holder is the 845 AMG from Mercedes with 421. This is not a performance car. This is a standard sedan car for a four people family. So it is pretty good horsepower from a single turbo VTEC Honda engine. You have insulation right here and that's pretty much it. And if we want to close the engine bay, we have to just there and that's it. You can see there's a front camera right here because this is the tech. It has more uh, safety systems than the previous than the uh, lower model. So you have this front camera because this is the advanced model. This has the most spec and the most safety system. It has a rain sensing wipers. It has adaptive brake assist. It has cruise control. It has lane keep assist. It has a lot of safety systems at the front. So at the front, it has cruise control, adaptive brake assist, and lane keep assist. I'm talking about the rear a little later. Now, let's check out the car's side profile. So the car's length is 196 inches and the TLX, the Type S has more horsepower. That has 355 horsepower. That is very good because it's compared to the C45 and the BMW M350i and the S4. So the wheels are 255, 40 and 19. So 19-inch wheel with a four-piston uh, regenerated calipers. You have multi-link suspension all of the four corners but if you get the type s you get that adaptive dampers on the multi link then if you come to the mirror it's blacked out with your hazards light right here and it has a very elegant design with your uh, surround view camera on the corner because this is not the sport package you have chrome around all the car 
right here and then you have black accent here with a sunroof and the car's wheelbase is 107.9 inches and the car's ground clearance is 5.8 inch that is very good so this is it pretty much for the side fuel tank when the car is unlocked if you just tap here it opens and it is a capless fuel tank and the fuel tank capacity is 61 liters that is okay the rear wheels are same as the front it has brick stone tires that are very good for fuel economy because this is a family sedan now let's check out the car's rear but before that it has a, a functional antenna radio antenna right here and it's very aerodynamic that's it now let's check out the car's rear so the car's height is 56.7 inches now i'm going to turn on the car and get inside and turn on the lights so here we go inside it has keyless entry right there so this is my foot on the brake pressing the start button of the car and there so this is for the full light on with the hazard and this is for the reverse so this is the full light of the car you can see i'm going to put the car back to park and if i come outside so these are the full led tail lights for this car you can see it starts from here all the way wraps around till here this is your hazards right and you can see your reverse light it has parking sensors at the back also to be honest it has four sensors and it has a functional exhaust up here and on the other side the type this has four exhaust pipes two on this side two on that side and you have that your parking your number plate slot is here with two lights up on you have your acura logo right here with your reversing camera here you have the car's branding to tlx but it doesn't say that it's the advance huh and the rear safety system is it has adaptive brake assist at the back and it has when you're coming out of lock if another car comes by it's going to warn you and it has blind spot monitoring too that's it for the back rear windshield is heated now let's check out the car's boot space so for that we have to just press this button opens so you have 362 liters of space here that is decent and you have 60 40 distribution seat folding of the car you also have underfloor storage so if you get that up you have your tire repair kit under this right there. so this is pretty much it for the boot you have tlx branding on the uh, boot cover and that's pretty much it you have a boot, boot release at the inside and for closing it just get it like this and close it that's it for the exterior of the car now let's get inside the rear seats so now getting inside the rear seats of the car so here i get inside so because this is the advanced, you get full leather seats and these are heated. You have the center armrest right here, so for that I have to open the seat belt. There, so you have a phone holder and two cup holders. That is pretty much it. You have two light placement up here and two microphones up here. And a grab handle here. That's pretty much it. Nothing that special because it is a uh, mid-size sedan actually to compare as its length. Heated seats buttons are right here and your rear uh, AC vents are here with your magazine holders. So this is the Advance. It has the ELS Studio 3D sound system. This is your door handle, your window control, grab handle, and bottle holder. That's it. Now, let's get into the car's front seats. So, let's start by showing you the dash. The dash is fully leathered. You have this metallic finish right here. This is your AC vent right here. White stitching with black leather, glove box here with your owner's manual of the car. So seats are semi-bucket seats. So this is eight-way powerly adjustable with heated and ventilation. And I have 12-way with lumbar support and heated and ventilation. Now let's show you the car's center console. So first of all, you have a glove box right here with two chargers. One is for your Apple CarPlay and one is for charging. And you have a power outlet. And you have a lot of storage. Fully leathered with white stitching, two cup holders here. You have a hand wrist here for the touchpad controller. You have the volume shortcut button here and skip track wireless charging pad here and if we come here the gear knob is very different so for drive you have to press this and then you can drive away if you want it to sport press again and then you can use the car's paddles for neutral you press this and for reverse you press this it has a reversing camera with adaptive guidelines and has a bird's eye view and if you see on the mirror if i put the car in park the mirror goes up put the car in reverse the mirror goes down so i can see if it's going to hit the tire or not putting it back to park you have your brake hold and your auto start stop button here this is your drive mode controller so if you just switch it it comes on the infotainment so you have comfort you have normal you have sport and individual but it doesn't have snow ventilation seats right here heated seats right here and auto so it's going to see the car's temperature at the outside 
and then it can adjust your seat. You have your AC on and off. Where do you want the air? AC, you have the wind speed right here. You have, so the exterior uh, wind doesn't come here. You have the front wind chill heater here and exterior wind chill heater, two zone climate control. So you can change it right here from your uh, Fahrenheit. You can sync the boat and, or put it in auto. This is your hazards button and then you have two AC vents on either side. A very nice center console design. You have your rear view mirror right here that is auto dimmed and has a, has a garage opener included with it. You have two light placement here and your sunroof opener. Sunglass holder here that is padding inside. You have two of the vanity mirrors with a mirror, so mirror with a light. And you can manually open the cover of the sunroof and just press this and it's going to open. There, it's actually raining outside, so I'm closing this. I'm closing the cover. Now, let's show you the car's infotainment system. So now, put on the brake, pressing the start button. This is a 10.3 inch OLED display, and it slowly turns on with a nice animation. It takes some time, but it turns on. So for controlling it, you have to do it from here. So it says ELS Studio Premium Audio, and then it does a very nice animation. And then, when it loads up, takes some time. Okay, animation, animation. And then it gives you a warning. And yeah. And then there. So for this touchpad controller, you have to control it from here. So let me just get the volume down. So first, let's go to home. So you have navigation. Then you have phone. You have FM radio. You have Bluetooth. You have system upgrade, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Tune Mix. For getting it on that side, there. And it does this uh, audio that I don't like message. USB audio, aux input, AM, and then you have settings, you have Acura Link and AT&T Hotspot, AT Hotspot. And then for controlling the screen of your audio, you have to do it from this touchpad, so there. And for the 360 camera of the car, if I put the car on drive and then on reverse, you can see this the reversing camera. And for getting the full 360 bird's eye view, this all right there very simple and easy to use and there the car is back to park so that's it for the infotainment very simple design now let's show you the steering wheel so the steering wheel is telescopically adjustable with tilted so there so however you want you can adjust it so i did it for myself you have your cruise control button here with your lane keep assist and cancel this is for controlling that center screen this is for the volume screen off and on heated steering wheel and normal voice command go back and apps and then over this side you have your headlight controls with your fog and then high beam and hazards and over this side you have the windshield wiper controls right there and then you have paddle shifters but these are plastic paddle shifters but on the type S, you get them on the uh, aluminum so this is the front camera of the car that you can see it also has adaptive guidelines so for that there's a button here that's the wheel that you guys can see and then if i press again it just goes so now let's show you the car's instrument cluster so someone commented yesterday on my supra video that it's a rpm not an instrument cluster the rpm is inside the instrument cluster boy let's show you the car's rpm so foot on the brake pressing the start button it does a full swipe with that nice animation so this is your rpm red lines at 7000 this is your parking brake so it's on this is the car's safety system is on this is the car's engine temperature so cool or hot this is the fuel gauge you have how many miles this car has so it has seven because it's obviously brand new the gear shows here so drive and sport or manually shift park again then over here you have which drive mode you're in so if i change that comfort and then normal sport or individual i'm going to leave it at sport then you have your speedo here top speed is 160 mile per hour or 260 kilometer per hour you have your uh, center digital screen that you have to control from here so for controlling that cancel cancel press this so you have your safety systems, your lane keep assist off, and then you have adapt blind spot monitoring on or off. Then we have the adapt brake assist off or on. 
safety then you have your sport gauge and this is for speed and then if we go up this is your trip computer this is your current speed this is your navigation this is your car's maintenance this is your tire pressure this is the driving attention level this is the car's manual this is the safety support and this is the sport gauge always off or just so show when it's on sport that's it for the rpm i don't think so it has a soft limiter yeah it has a soft limiter at 2000 rpm that's it now let's show the car's heads up display so that is for the heads up display it just shows you the speed of the car so you can see right there so speed in mile per hour that's it now let's show you the car's door so now the door of the car let's start from here the traction control then you have parking sensors you have your adaptive rain sensing wiper off and on safety system off and on heads up display controller you have this is for the heads up display tilt this is your electronically controlled parking brake that you control from here then you have the speaker of the car you have the trunk opening your bottle holder and then the main twitter two memory seats this is your door handle nice wooden treatment and you have your window controls that is it so if you guys like the review don't make sure you hit the like button and do make sure you're subscribed if you need any type of acura or honda you could buy it from acura paragon acura or paragon honda thank you so much dave sharker for arranging this car for me and if there's anyone at the new york city or the united states or need any acura honda you can contact with dave sharker i'm going to put his number at the description box until then stay safe stay home inshallah let's see you at the next review peace